welcome to a flipping stunning autumn morning the last one it's winter tomorrow so it's getting a little bit cold it's chilly as but fear not we're going free diving today because we are mad dogs and then um, jump back on the boat and sail somewhere less rocky and this is where we find ourselves today lion island named so because of its resemblance to a sleeping lion it's pretty exposed to wind swells and currents so we've never been brave enough to land here until today just putting extra weights on our dive belts because we're wearing wetsuits today so we're going to be very buoyant so we need a little extra help with sinking Ta -da. Well, we're definitely not in fiji anymore we didn't need a wetsuit then did we nope All right, so just arrived and three sea eagles flew over our heads. So we like this place already. But um, yeah, look, this looks pretty shitty, but um, we're gonna have a go because it just looks so pure and natural. Yeah, oh, baby. You need to get in your dinghy to come out and surf this. This is living. Seaweed was pretty mesmerizing though. Yeah. Really cool. Made me feel a bit seasick because it was just swishing and swaying. Oh, look at him go. Wow, are you going to eat him? You use him for bait. Those tentacles would be great on the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Do we want him? Do we want him? No. No, they're too intelligent. I'd feel oh, bad no. about killing him. So look, we're not professionals at this, clearly. And uh, we went in for a good time and had a shit time. So sorry about that. Yeah, this island's really lovely. It's a nature reserve, so you're not allowed to go onto the island. Um, mostly because it is home to some little fairy penguins. They are, I believe they're the second smallest penguin in the world. Okay, so I had to fact check this because I couldn't bear the thought of you all embarrassing yourselves with unfounded fairy penguin trivia. Well, good job I did, because I'd got my penguins mixed up. The fairy penguin, or if you're from New Zealand, the blue penguin, is indeed the world's smallest penguin, coming in at just 33 centimetres. Sweet! The world's second smallest penguin is in fact our friend the Galapagos penguin, who we had the pleasure of meeting this time last year in the Galapagos Islands, to which this species is endemic. This dude towers over the fairy penguin at a lofty 49 centimetres. They're native to a lot of places in Australia, and we're lucky enough to have them here in our home and they did build some little houses for the penguins on that island i read it in the newspaper um we went looking for them we couldn't see them i think they're quite inconspicuous they're quite hidden so the penguins can get a bit of privacy and so they should they are, they have the right to their privacy um so um yeah we've just rocked up home now on to the next adventure 
hope the next adventure is better than that one. So our first weekend as weekend sailors, and uh, we haven't quite nailed it. We've forgotten something quite vital. Oh, what? Um, and I didn't want to tell you. I noticed before we left to go free diving, but I didn't want to tell you because I feared that it would change your mind about said free diving. You didn't bring a towel. We didn't bring any towel. <laughs> But I've had a thought and we can use the woolly blanket that you spilt candle wax over when you blew out the candle too vigorously. So we don't really care about it that much. Don't have any towels anywhere. Um, well, we've, actually, we've got this one. <laughs> that is quite... <laughs> You, you actually did a good job not telling me before because I wouldn't have gone. He wouldn't have There is gone. no way I would have gone. I was already cold and like the only good thing, and you teased me because you said if you go, if you go free diving in the cold water, the good thing is we get to have a warm shower and you knew that we didn't actually have a towel to have a warm shower. I enticed him. I was like, I'll make you a hot cup of tea. We can have a warm shower. There you go, babe. <laughs> Bound for simple fortunes, ain't no fame or riches that could stay my rambling. But I left her in the hollow of that fable spring. Should I have swept it down? So we really like the opportunity when we can just to go stern too. Tucks us up in this nice little bay here. It should be really nice and calm tonight, shouldn't it? Yeah, cozy as. Yeah. Welcome home, babe. Yeah, it's nice. So welcome, my lovelies, to Jerusalem Bay. Another special, special place up the river. We're so lucky, honestly. I just said to Jackson, thank you so much for being born here. <laughs> and I also said to him, thank you for being a sailor, because it's honestly the best gift anyone's given me. So grateful. Yeah, so we've got a few friends here. Lots of people enjoying the bay. So we're usually just on our own, but I think this is lovely that everyone's able to do this these days. Lots of big boats actually, I feel very intimidated. But yeah, just a, another beautiful place with just not a sound other than people laughing and birdsong. And the sun is dancing in the trees and on the water. And we're about to have a barbecue. There's three beers and a cider in the fridge. Brought some nice food with us. Um, although I did tell Jackson that I was going to make him some garlic bread and then realised that I didn't bring any garlic, so a few teething problems with this weekend boat stuff. What are we having, Kat? I thought we'd have a little steak and some asparagus to make your wee smell. I love this barbecue because all the fat and crap that comes out of the barbecue just drops straight out into the ocean. No cleanup. Bravo, Barbie. Bravo. We just thought we'd go for a little afternoon paddle, go and see what's what. Pretty nice doing this on a Saturday now. A nice little respite from the week. If you didn't see our video last week, we actually announced that for the next little while, we are gonna be weekend warriors, meaning that we are no longer full-time little boys because I have got a job to go and build up our cruising kitty, hopefully, 
get ready for our next adventure. We did have a few people messaging. What is my job? <laughs> Very elusive. I am an architect. High flying commercial architect. I don't. I don't. I like to call it. I don't like that. I'm not a high flying commercial <laughs> architect. Makes me sound like a sellout, <laughs> which I'm not. I keep telling people that that's his job, and he's like, "Happy." Yeah, I'm not. And really loving it. So that's what I did before. I became a famous YouTuber. How <laughs> do you reckon? A high flying YouTuber. Yeah, really weird actually being back into working again, doing the nine to five grind. It's definitely a massive change. One thing I can say is that our trip has definitely changed our lives and our perception of working um, and our perception of what life can be and alternatives. So it's made us realize what's important. Definitely. And this is the rock I'm going to jump off tomorrow because tomorrow. he's too cool swat to do it today because yes. he's cold. Princess cold. Princess cold because my first mate forgot towels. So well, I've got a tea towel. Yeah. And Xanthi is, her job at the moment is still making some videos, but she also is currently applying for jobs. She's not sure if she's hit rock bottom or just climbed the peak. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but she applied to be a Mrs. Claus. But yeah, we're really excited. It, it's it's a nice little change. I have to say, you know, living full-time live aboard uh, for the last two years has in some ways been quite taxing and quite tiring. And I think all these sailing channels make it look a lot easier than what it is. But honestly, props to those guys. Yeah, um, I think- I know that's very self-aggrandizing because we are one of those guys, but- Full-time live aboard for two years, was it? just a little bit hard at the pace we were doing. I think doing it slower could be a lot better in terms of like recharging and regrouping. So we just beached because Jackson can hear a waterfall. He's He is a waterfall hunter. He's really good at finding waterfalls. So we're gonna go and try and find said waterfall. Is it? Apparently it's really nice. What do you know? Found another waterfall. Woohoo! Get you! Got a nice little paddling pool here. Jackson just whooped my ass at chess. Feeling a little bit defeated at the moment, but that's all right. It's been a very good day. I'm just gonna wind down and watch a movie tonight. And we thought we would do a little review of said movie for you. We don't know what we're gonna watch yet, but we'll let you know. What do you want for dinner? Uh, sweet potato chips and salad. Okay, stand back. Whoa, how to do that? That's sick. We've been thinking really hard today and we've come up with a new concept. We think it could actually be like an industry or something and maybe even a job. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch a movie <laughs> and then we're going to tell you what we think of it. I guess it's like a, like a, a review or something like a movie review. Review. Yeah. That's inspired. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to do that and um, we're going to show you a movie review. I love it. We should copyright that. So it's time for the film review. <laughs> we just watched. Venice War. It's about a guy who was a pro motocross uh, racer. He then signed up for the army and was like some kind of motocross army commando. He then got injured and then returned back home. And it was about his rise back to fame going through really harsh adversity what would you give it out of 10 a three really <laughs> maybe a four 
I thought it was quite good. So it it had a bit of everything. It had it had a love story. It had it was gripping. I'm a sucker for the cinematography where there where there's dust clouds. It's a motocross film, so there was lots of dust clouds. But yeah, it was very improbable in parts and very cheesy. And I found myself saying as if that would happen a lot of the time so um that was a bit annoying so i would give it i'd give it at least a 4.85 there you go okay then it's war good night That was actually pretty high. <laughs> and cozies on the line. I think that's a hallmark of a great weekend. But honestly, what a cracker of an afternoon. Just a little puff of wind, so we got the jib out. Um, that's the thing about this whole weekend thing. You can't really choose to go out on the conditions. The conditions just choose for you. So um, we haven't had any banger sales yet, but this is just really pleasant and we're having a great time. Just heading back to base camp. I have a thing where I really don't want to pee in my wetsuits and I don't think I've peed in my wetsuit for about I reckon 15 years good going like but this is bringing back memories of when you pee in your wetsuit and then you just feel it go all around your whole body that's commendable Jackson yeah what not peeing or not peeing in your wetsuit you know how wetsuits work right you get a small amount of water inside and that water sits between the rubber and the, your skin and circulates around your body as you move. So all you've been doing is bathing in your own piss. Yeah, well, Demi Moore drinks her own piss, so... What? Demi Moore drinks her own piss, and look at her, she's a babe. A couple of celebrities do it. Apparently it's the elixir of beauty. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Google it. No, I'm not going to Google it on my... <laughs> yeah, be careful. My new phone's on my work. 
my work can see what I do when I Google. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want them find my like, Demi tell, Moore tell, drinking piss. Yeah, my three month review. Yeah, no, everything's been going well, but we're a bit concerned about your internet browser history. 